Hello and welcome to Bell Cave Gaming. Today, I'm really excited because it's the first time that I get to play around with the new Sword and Shield set release. And I do apologize I didn't get a video out of this um, yesterday. I was just sick as a dog and could not record even if I wanted to. And I'm not all that much better today, but I'm going to coach basketball and... Uh, if I'm good enough to coach, I feel like I should be good enough to be able to record a video. So, um, yeah, this, this Frost Moth, what's it actually do? Well, it's got this Ice Dance ability, which is basically like the Blastoise Rain Dance ability from back in the day, where we basically just get to attach as many water energies to our bench water Pokemon um, from our hand as we like every single turn, as long as our Frost Moth is in play. So, that's absolutely huge, and just opens up so many different options. So, so I do want to test is like a Quagsire in this deck, partnering Frostmoth with Quagsire, but at this stage we have not gone that route. We have gone with the following. So Blast Blup, here really for the Splash Maker, just a 150 attack, but allows us to get an extra bit of healing and energy acceleration. So if they do hit out our Frostmoth at some stage, we might be able to go into Blast Blup and energy accelerate this way instead, but provides the healing, which is what we're after. So you can attach up to three energy water energies from your hand to your Pokemon anyway that you're like and heals 50 for each um, time you do that. Plus 270 HP is pretty decent. Uh, we got the Keldeo V, great little basic attacker. So the Secret Sword, 50 base damage, but of course three water energies on it. That's going to get 30 more for each water energy. So it's 140 base and we can scale that up as high as we can, like as we like. So we've got 11 water energies in the deck. So 11, you know, we're going to be able to one shot anything in the game if we absolutely want to, like had to and could get so many water energies into play. But just a great little basic attacker. Um, Lapras is a handy basic attacker. Does 210 for four water energies. Uh, but you've got to put two of those water energies back into your hand. And just remember that Frostmoth only... Um, that it only allows you to attach it back to your bench Pokemon. So that can be a little bit awkward. However, the Lapras VMAX does 90 base and then an extra 30 for each uh, Water NG. So in other words, when we're using it, it's going to be hitting for 180 and we can scale that up really quickly to one shot whatever we want as well. Uh, the Palkia, that actually replaced the Magilord. So I originally had the Magilord in the deck because, and you'll see that in the first couple of games, um, but I found the Magilord was there for the GX attack. Uh, which allows you to hit 100 to all the bench. But getting that number of NGs into play onto the Magilord was really, really awkward. So 5 NGs, that's much more achievable for the um, Zero Vanish GX attack. Hits 4 or flat 150 and shuffles all NG from your opponent's Pokemon back into that deck. So I think it's a great GX option. So that's the reason why the Palkia is here. Not really for the Hydro Pump. Well, we can if we want to uh, or absolutely had to. It does 20 um, times the number of Water NG. So it's 60 base, um, 120 when we're actually using it for the Hydro Pump pump but really here for the zero advantage gx attack and like i said with the magi lord um just swapped it out because i found it was really hard to get that number of engies onto the magi lord uh volcanium that's here really for the jet geyser adds a little bit of gusting um but gets a little you know can be a handy attacker here and there for three water engies hits 100 base and then 20 to all the opponent's bench pokemon so yeah just a little bit of bench damage on there other than that the um trainer line we need lots of ways that we can get NGs into our hand, whether it's from the discard or from the deck. So we've got some different options from that. Uh, we've got the Minty and Lorelei, which can go and get water NGs from the deck. And if we really need to use a GX attack twice, we're probably not going to be using this option very often, but it does give us an opportunity to try and use a GX attack again by discarding five cards from our hand. Um, we have the Fisherman, which is another support to go and get NGs. This one from the discard, so gets four basic NGs from the discard part and pops into our hand. Um, we've got Viridians to go and fetch them from our deck. We've got NG Retrieval to go and get them from our discard straight to our hand. Uh, we were running three NG Retrieval, but I've swapped out for an Ordinary Rod just because I've got so many discard draw now that there's times where you have to discard like Pokemon that you need and you need to be able to get Pokemon back. So the Ordinary Rod's here um, because it gives us a choice between Pokemon and NG and shuffling it back into our deck. So that's the reason why that's now at a two count and we've got 
got one of them. Um, in terms of the draw spot that's new here, uh, Cynthia Caitlin's not new. Uh, we do have Professor's Research, which is just going to be like a staple in every deck now. Discard your hand, draw seven. Absolutely massive. Um, Marnie, which I really like, so it's like a one-sided judge um, where you shuffle... Well, you don't actually shuffle um, your cards back in the deck. You just shuffle them and then put them on the bottom of your deck and then you draw five and your opponent draws four. So that's really our draw options and that's the deck. So let's get into some matches. Hello, Drumper. Welcome. Uh, it's not in the active. is not ideal. Not at all. Um, end of the day, we can ordinary rod things back. So I think we quick ball here. Go and get... Jirachi. The first... Well, it depends. Do I want to get out? No, let's grab Lapras. I reckon we'll Lapras and Dead A, uh, Dead A change. Yeah, right. So, this one... Can... I mean, we're Dead A changing, so that can go away. Well, Dead A. Get an NG to this guy. Chuck that NG back into the deck. Dead A change. Alright, well... It's not the greatest. I really hope I don't get bodied right at the start. Do I drop a skateboard just to... What we'll do, actually, we'll just hold. Because we can switch to the uh, to the dead eye and chuck in the board into the dead eye. On the next one. We got the research. Need to find a ton of water engies. I'm ready and helps, but... Throwing away the only Cynthia and Caitlyn really sucks because that means I'm going to lose my Fisherman and my Misty and Lorelei. Looks like we've got Tina. Probably Tina Tags. Just doing its thing again. Oak set up. It'll be more than just teen tags. Possibly a teen chump coming. Yeah. Yeah. Forward into Drachi. Dead A change. Getting rid of Misty. Oh, sorry, Amani and Lana. It's interesting. I'm going to need some pretty big pulls here. Off this professor's research. It's not going to cut it. So we've got a switch here. Chuck a board to you. Think. Do we pop the whale down? The whale could be good, actually, yeah. We do pop the whale down. We're going to... Does suck that I'm going to have to get rid of the Cynthia and Caitlin. There's nothing I can do about it. We'll go Lapras early. Uh, chuck a board. Doesn't really matter who it goes to, I guess. And go to you. Research. Got a moth. It's 
I have to attack on this turn. Which is good. The fact that I've lost my boards makes Jirachi super hard to use from here on out. What's Quick Ball getting me? Another Lapras, maybe? I think that's what we do. Just go and get another Lapras. Yep. Alright. Go and Ocean Loop. Smack out the Jirachi. Got a Mal and Lana out. So at least I've got a pivot Pokemon. That's something we do have going for us. GGN puts it discard, doesn't it? Yeah, it's discard. And I've used my ordinary rod. So it'd be a Lapras gone if he GG ended for the game. The water NGs I can still get back at this stage. And that's just hitting 160. You're going to whack out the dead A or you're going to, yep, yeah, whack out the dead A. So there's the pivot Pokemon gone. I feel like I want to set up the Magilord, to be honest. So we'll hit him with the Lapras here, but just start setting up the Magilord. So what we're really digging for. So this can act as a switch at some point as well. So yeah, I think we hit Lapras here, and we're setting up Magilord immediately afterwards. The fact that I don't have my pivot Pokemon is making this super awkward. I press V Max is handy here. I only need three NGs to attack with the lap press V Max, so I think we drop that down. We NG attach to the Frost Moth. Just gives me that pivot retreat. I want to keep the Malo and Lana if I can. Because that's another switching option. I am starting to run out of those. So I think that's what we'll do. We'll drop this. Grab the Water NG. We're two shotting, so there's no. Oh! How many would I need to one shot this? So heating 180. It's 210 if I put both on. I need to hit two NGs. Yeah. Yeah. Two NGs. Can I do it? I've seen five. There's plenty of deck of the deck to see. I think we ice dance both these to the Lapras. Here. Well then, Marnie. There's the two. Look at that. I starts this one on here. And on to you. I think the Magi Lord option is probably gone though. Retreat. And G Max pump. Smack out the team job. Oh, and that great catch is really good here as well. So we can great catch that dead A for game. That's absolutely awesome. So 
So I'm expecting to get stamped here. Gotta be a stamp coming. How many spores do we have left if we get stamped? Got a dead A somewhere. Oh, we got tons of supporters. Haven't really thinned the deck much though. Possibly should chuck the Keldeo down. Or did I just pull that from prizes? Yeah, I forgot. Oh, ouch. That's game. So, great catch up. These two. Go and pull in the dead A. And there we have it. Well, first game with the uh, lapdog. First win. There we go. Hello, uh, Dark Joss. Welcome. Uh, I'll chuck this down. Um, the mulligan's going to be nice. Don't want to... Mm. We'll draw a cut. Get a Viridian out. A uh, quick bull's nice. I can go and get my moth set up. Which means I can probably go and get the Lapras, I reckon, here. We've got NG recovery, but... I feel like you're likely to play playing Viridian. Viridian just gives me more value for a longer period of time. That gives me a guaranteed draw support. I don't think I'm going to need more than 210 damage on the first time. Let's get rid of this. Go and get... Lapras. No, 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 no. Snob. That's what we need. Snob. Uh, Chuck Viridian down. Maybe. Still a wish. And your retrieval's fine. Yeah, we'll Chuck Viridian down. If I knew I was going to have an NG retrieval. I would have, yeah, happily ditched earlier. Um, that's the case. This might need to go and get... Yeah, we'll hold. We'll hold there. I might need to go and get a dead A out of that. Although I can't really afford to. I've got to hope this Jirachi pulls something. Mm, that's a point. Got to really hope Jirachi pulls something. So we've got a Lapras here. Ah, oh, putting it back to my hand is not necessarily the end of the world. That's an expensive attack. Only 130 HP too. Wow. Well, Alright, Blast Plot. So I am going to have to build to one-shot numbers. So that's the other way of thinking about chucking a Quagsire into the deck. That way you can just wash out to whoever you need to. Rather than having a pivot Pokemon. Which I kind of like the idea of that. Hitting out the Wooper here would be huge. Cynthia and Caitlyn is draw. I mean, it's better than nothing, but... We're going to draw Archie Stellarish first. we got to switch out of this, a research. I think we'll just grab the research. Yeah. Chuck that in the bin. Go and put... 
the Lapras back, the Lapras V Max. Go and get the Lapras V. Uh, get our Moth down. Injury retrieval. These two. Need a switch card now. Something we're desperately looking for is some kind of switch. Alright, research. Ugh, we're gonna have to. Dead eye here. Do I want another one of these down? It's probably not the end of the world. We do have to dead eye. Got no choice here. Uh, dead eye. Onto this guy. Yeah. Continue digging. There's a board. Alright, that's what we're after. Uh, great catcher. I think that's good for next turn. I like hitting out the weeper now because it makes that pivoting harder. And besides, getting chip damage and that, it's like meh. So, just the moment we ocean loop. I'd need to find a way into Lapras V Max. Love to be able to hit this thing out. Just take the lies up. So what we could do is Mel and Lana to our Jirachi, chuck the two energies on the lap press and then dead HH after a great catcher. I think that's the turn here. Really go after the blast pot. So we don't need to heal it all. So this will just be a straight switch to Jirachi. Uh, we'll get all three energies on. Good research here instead. I think Dead Eye. Do I want Blast Plop at all? I mean, I'm getting rid of Blast Plop for game if I use Dead Eye. We want more research and then this gives me more options. I think we Dead Eye. Probably should have grabbed the Viridian first. There's Lapras VMAX. Alright, so we... I don't think there's anything I really want to do. Who do I want to attach to? I've got no one to set up. Alright, Lapras VMAX. Just the minute there's like no one to set up. Uh, we'll grab a research maybe. Yeah, I reckon a research out of this just in case. Um, that's probably the best. And then we'll retreat to this guy. Oh, I should have actually continued putting NGs on him. Oh, well, I still can. Um, yeah, it's getting out of control. <laughs> Way out of control. Hello, Nego Shakua. Welcome. All right, we get to start with Jirachi. That's good. It's a rarity. We actually need to with the, this deck as well. Like with this hand. Oops. Pop you down. Just hold there for the moment. All right, ditto in the active for my opponent. Okay, I'm very unfamiliar with this deck. Putting damage counters on me. So obviously a damage counter reliant deck. 
Do you remember there was a Dark um, V Pokemon that... Like, scales up its attack with damage counters on there. To check out Frostmoth feels bad. Ditching a switch feels bad, but I'm gonna research here. So we got the board. Galdeo could be useful. How many water energies in the bin? One, we got the energy retrieval, so we'll ditch another. We'll go and get ourselves out the Snom, which is an absolute must here. Chuck this to you. Still a wish ourselves. See if we can find. No, we can't. Hmm. Feel like we don't need Viridian this turn. I like Keldeo down this turn. It's a bit of a waste. Just passed over. We're hoping for a poke comps. We might need to quick ball and get to Dano. And just get out of this hand again. But I really don't want to throw an energy retrieval away if I don't like if I can avoid it. Alright, so Lily Dolls. Certainly about building up towards something. So Volcanion could be useful here. Needs so much in this next turn. Put the money. Oh, we got the Frost Moth. Got a money back if I need to. Got the E switch. Oh, is this like a hit and run? A weird version of hit and run? So that'll go into the Lily Doll. Mm. Money. Wow. Put this back. I think we're getting dead A out of this. And we might actually tag call just to get a Pokemon that we can put back. I want all those supporters, don't I? Yep. Go and get the Lapras V with this Pokecoms. We want our Volcanion at some stage as well. There's a lot that we need here. So Dead A change. Hmm, well, we got what we needed, didn't we? So I start this one to you. This one to you. Still a wish. What do I feel like I can afford to throw away? Uh, in fact, I can Caitlyn and Cynthia on the next turn, can't I? So I can go and get back whatever I get. Yeah, so we'll get the research. Throw the research away. Throw the, no, throw the Caitlyn and Cynthia away. Cynthia and Caitlyn. Uh, grab ourselves out Volcanion here. Check guys up. Get that doll back out. Who do you want to lose? Probably be Jirachi here, I'm assuming. Should be a nice hit out. No. Desperate needs to keep the Jirachi. Gonna get rid of the Zigzagoon.
I am intrigued to know what this deck is. Exactly. Probably putting the board onto another Dedene is pretty good. This gives us another pivot Pokemon. Didn't want to put the Lapras down that turn. I know you're running Marnies, but I didn't want to put it down that turn just in case you're trying to build up damage counters on the back line as well. That's pretty huge. So we're not going to get Marnie this turn. I need to read this. When you play this Pokemon in your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon, you may put three damage counters onto opponent's Pokemon. Prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by basic at Pokemon. Ooh. Ninety damage. Luckily, you're not basic. But that's good to know. That we're not dealing with a basic there. I'd say that we might struggle with basic Pokemon attacking these things. Larian Lanoon. So was the zigzagoons put one and the these things put one. So we need to find water energy again. Unless you got another lily doll you can put down there. Quick pull the stealthy hood. Not pulling anything. Alright, so we need to find another water NG. I am concerned about the number of water NGs that are going into that bin, to be honest. Kind of want to leave a dead A spot, but I can't afford to lose this Lapras, so. Got a water NG, which is what we need. Don't have water recovery at the moment, which is bad. In fact, what we could do here is Great Catcher, take the two prize cards this turn. I really want to know, who would you get rid of? Nah, let's, let's take the two prize cards while we've got it. The stamp... Viridian's too good. Malalana Switch is really handy for healing. Oh, Frostmoth. Oh, but I want the Frostmoth for the Pokecoms. That's the reason I'm thinking that. Because that can go and get my other Lapras V. Do we just draw it? Yeah, we just draw it. We just back ourselves. We're just going to draw our Lapras V. At the end of the day, taking this down feels pretty good to me. Keeping the water energy in hand. So, I take the two prize cards. Possibly should have thrown Viridian down, actually. If you get a hit on me here, so does this? No, it doesn't actually jump back to the Lily Doll. That's another three damage counters on this guy. This damage counters starting to build up. But 90, I mean, I'm about to heal 120, so. I getting that one set up. There is, there is a V Pokemon. I don't know if you're running it. But there is a V Pokemon that does. Ah, Marnie. Don't get any of them cards back. So I don't have Mellow and Lana anymore. Um, what was I going to say? There is a V Pokemon that um, ramps up its damage based on the number of damage counters on our guys. So I'm seeing a flip to the Jirachi here. Got 
the switch. Gonna go the doll, okay. We'll force you to KO that Jirachi in the back line. Honestly, at this stage, I'm nearly tempted just to hold what we've got. Because I like the fisherman in hand. So we'll jet guys up. Force you to switch. We will NG attach. And then just hold G Max pump. So there's two prizes to go. I love this Volcanium. <laughs> Volcanium and Fion, I love them. Fion being such a big part of my uh, Scatterstoy deck that won the tournament. So here's a Rosa play. Able to get anything you want here. Hmm, that's... I want to have a look at that. What was that? <laughs> What's this guy do? Burn attack, exactly four damage counts. Oh, wow. But, having said that, that's game. Oh, no it's not. Because of... Yeah. Well played there. Well played there. I did not see that one coming. I have to admit. I have to fish him in here. I love a poker comes out of this. So obviously this HP is lower, so it's 80 HP. So I could go with Keldeo V. It's just got a two retreat cost and then power up the Lapras. That could be a legitimate option. I think we will go Keldeo V rather than Blast Plot. Yeah, Gaudio V. So you need to be aware that you're going to be blocking basic Pokemon. So Ice Dance. But having said that, no, nah, because Lily Doll, yeah. Three needs to go here. The other two to this Lapras. And we're getting set for a Professor's Research after. So, take a sword, smack out the Y Vettel. It's actually a really good pull. Because <laughs> if you go into the Lily Doll here, that was the other thing I probably should have thought about holding an NG just in case you went to the Lily Doll. Ah, I've got two Lily Dolls, so that's not going to be an option anymore. Alright. Yeah, this is the guy I was thinking about, that I do know about. 60 for each damage counter on your opponent's active Pokemon. Okay. For two darkness. Ah, don't want to end your retrieval. 
Can't hurt to have it back in, can it? Just who do I NG attach to? I don't want to do that. This guy? For the moment. Research. We got it, actually. We're there. Lapras VMAX, that's what we're looking for. Give my opponent a well played as well. Switch over to here. And yeah, we ripped exactly what we needed. GG's. And it's time where I usually rate the deck, but rather than rate this one, um, I haven't really spent that many games with it yet or got a feel of what the meta on the ladder is going to be like, so I'm not going to rate it. Instead, I'm going to talk about some things I want to look into with the deck. So in my experience, Jirachi is an interesting one. If you can start with Jirachi, it's absolutely huge, but I think out of all the games that I played, I started with it once. So Jirachi became a really awkward card to use, so I'm thinking about maybe ditching the Jirachis altogether Together, using hot air balloons instead of the boards which allows you to have two less retreat costs and if you look at like Pokemon that you can start with how many of them have two retreat costs even the frost moth has two retreat costs so that could be like a pivot pokemon instead um and just we've got that much draw that i don't feel like jirachi whilst it's nice to have if you can ideally start with it um i don't feel like it's absolutely necessary in here and i'm thinking that we could go with a um quags eye and that could give you so many different options it could give you the magi lords the legitimate option back into the deck but it just opens up with even non-water pokemon um that you could start experimenting with so I've got some ideas with that and that's what I'm going to go and test it, is um, probably ditching the Jirachi for a little while, seeing how the deck rolls without that and testing it with a Quagsire in there. So yeah, um, but as it stands, it's a really fun deck to play and I love the fact that we've got really good water support back into the format. And the other thing I really do like, which I didn't talk about in the intro, was we've got draw like Pokemon search again. It's so good. Um, yeah, the one thing I will say, um, I really wish we could play the Evolution Incense rather than Pokecoms um, to go and search out a Frost Mothers. Mothers? Moths? So, whatever. Uh, our Frost Moth. Um, but we need the Pokecoms for the VMAX, the Lapras VMAX. So, I don't know. I'm just iffy on that one as well. Um, if we go to Quags, I think we've got to swap them out for Evolution Incense. Yeah, but that's my food for thought. Um, really powerful deck, can one-shot absolutely anything with the Lapras VMAX, and it's so good to have great water support in the format again. So, yeah, thumbs up from me, and if you like that video, be sure to give it a like, and I'll catch you in the next one.